Our top story this hour, Russia's President Vladimir Putin has revealed NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden remains in transit at a Moscow airport. That means he has never officially crossed Russia's borders. This follows a mad chase by the media who ended up flying all the way to Cuba, even though the man wanted by the U.S. on espionage charges wasn't even aboard. Let's get the latest from RT's Tabang Matse standing by live at Sharmetivo Airport. Tabby, give us the latest, please. Right, Matt, the spy story keeps becoming intriguing as the day unfolds. Now, according to President Putin, who was uh, taking questions from journalists uh, in, uh, at a, together with his Finnish uh, uh, counterpart, uh, President Putin was asked, uh, uh, what is, where is Snowden and, of course, uh, uh, the U.S. relations and all the harsh rhetoric we've been hearing in the past couple of uh, hours. Now, Mr. Putin said... Quote, Snowden did come to Moscow. That was an absolute surprise to all of us. However, he was a transit passenger, and he's still in the transit zone. He has never left the airport, never been on Russian soil. Therefore, uh, we don't know where, uh, where his whereabouts are, besides the fact that he was in that transit zone. Now, of course, in terms of crossing into Russia, uh, he would need a visa to get into Russia. President Putin said he's happy that at least uh, Snowden did not break any laws when he comes to to Russia, that he did stay in that transit zone where he would continue to uh, uh, towards wherever he was going to the, to the next journey. Now, of course, there's been a lot of rhetoric between the U.S. Uh, saying that uh, uh, to those who are seeking to help us stro uh, uh, Snowden get to a safe haven, saying that uh, uh, they need to send him back to the U.S. He's wanted for those charges against espionage. Now, on that, uh, uh, the president also went on to actually say, Mr. Snowden is uh, one like uh, one other whistleblower that we all know, Julian Assange, who's one wanted for extradition and is holed up at the Ecuadorian embassy. He went on to say, uh, I ask you, do you think such people need to be extradited, to be put in jail? Uh, people who want to uh, stand up for their human rights and people who want to spread freedom of speech. Uh, going on further, the reactions from the U.S. are where, you know, uh, he's also said that wherever possible, he does not want to deal with these issues, particularly where uh, uh, he made a comment about taking a pig uh, uh, to the barber shop and trying to get him to sit still while you're trying to cut uh, the hair off the pig and said that he does not want to get involved with it. Those issues are issues that uh, will continue and uh, uh, don't stay still. So he does not want to involve himself with that. He also went on to say that in terms of his commitment and the rhetoric that's coming from uh, the U.S., he said that he hopes that his counterparts in the U.S. can come down a little bit and just listen to what Russia is saying, saying that we have no contact with this man. We have we are not helping Snowden. We know he's been in the country in the transit zone of a Moscow airport. Hence, he has not broken any laws. And in terms of extraditing him, we know that Russia, as the president said, has no uh, treaties with the U.S. to extradite anyone as yet. And that request has not been formally requested by the U.S. to, uh, to Moscow. Uh, I mean, the, the story in the last 48 hours uh, the U.S. has been very, very strong in terms of their rhetoric, saying that uh, Edward Snowden needs to be brought back. No one should be allowing him to travel anywhere else but to the U.S. Earlier on, we heard uh, from uh, the foreign minister of Russia saying that uh, uh, they did not know where Snowden was. And uh, the fact that everybody keeps saying that Russia uh, is hiding him is not true, as uh, they are just like us here by the airport saying, where is Snowden? The search continues for Snowden. And we hope that in the next couple of hours, we'll be able to uh, share with you some of those reactions from President Russian, uh, from Russian uh, President uh, Putin. Matt? All right, Artis Tabang Matse, live for us outside Chairman Airport. Thanks very much for that update.